Let me share with you a tricky question which tests your pattern recognition as well as analytical skills. Which of the following squares comes next in the sequence? And you're presented with the sequence of five squares and the fifth square is missing. And you have four different choices to choose from. A, B, C, and D. Do you recognize the pattern in this question? Do you think you know the answer? Give yourself 10 to 15 seconds to look closely and see if you can recognize which shape should be selected out of the four choices presented. Did you figure out the solution? Let's continue to see how we can get to the correct answer and solve this challenge together. As usual, my recommendation to you is always look for patterns. And let me share with you which patterns are present in this question. Obviously, there are multiple patterns present because this is the type of questions you get on the test. The first pattern is where half circles rotates clockwise inside the square. So the first position is on the right, next position is at the bottom, then left, top, and then you see the cycle repeating. The second pattern is where L shape is located at the opposite direction of where it was in the previous square. So you see that the L shape in the first square is located in the bottom left. In the next square, it's located in the upper right corner. And then the third pattern, also related to the L shape, is where L shape only changes its location after being in the same place twice, which is also being followed by the triangle. As you can see, the L shape in the first square is located in the bottom left corner. And then in the next two shapes, it's located in the upper right, and then in the upper right again. Then it changes the position and goes into the bottom right. And then in the next two positions, according to the pattern, would be upper left and then upper left again. And then the last but not least pattern is the pattern of the small triangle. And small triangle here follows the pattern of being inside and outside of the L shape. Therefore, this is why the next item in the sequence should contain a half circle in the lower part of the square and then the L shape, which is similar with the previous shape and the triangle inside. So the correct answer is choice C. Hopefully you understand what to look for in the similar questions in the test. Thanks for watching. I encourage you to check out our daily question challenge in the community section of this channel. I also recommend that you check downloads in the description section of this video. Please also check out resources page on our website, howtoanalyzedata.net slash resources. If you like the content, please give this video a big thumbs up. This tells us that you need more content like this. I would encourage you to share this video with other people that might be looking for the job. This will help them to get prepared and pass assessment test faster. Please consider subscribing and following this channel. We have community of great people helping each other to get ready and pass the test. Please leave questions, comments, or suggestions in the comment section of this video. And all the best on your interview and assessment test. Thanks for watching.